You know, for us, rosé is just sort of, it's quintessentially summer, really, isn't it? And we traditionally release our rosé in the year of vintage um, around about Labour Weekend. And of course, Labour Weekend, depending on what the weather throws at us, it's summer. And rosé is about summer. It's, you smell it, you taste it, you think it's all about summer fruit and strawberries and raspberries and... And it's sort of, it's quite a celebratory, it's a celebratory summer drink. And I think that's why it's become hugely popular. Um, our problem is we sell out of it. <laughs> we don't seem to be able to make enough to keep up with demand and we always run out. Um, we're looking to address that somehow. <laughs> Rosé is, Rose is a remarkable um, story, really, not just at Brick Bay, but worldwide. For a long time, Rosé was considered to be a bit of a uh, second-rate drink. Wine connoisseurs in particular would sniff a bit at Rosé, but it's had a remarkable um, renaissance. Winemakers are taking Rosé much more seriously. It used to be just a bit of a byproduct. Winemakers universally have realised there's a great thirst for rosé. I think um, a lot of the millennials, the new generation, like um, the lighter styles of wine. It's become very popular as, as just a, a drink, a pre-dinner drink, um, white wine, rosé. There's been about a 30% increase in rosé sales worldwide in the last little while. It's huge. I mean, there's more rosé drunk in, in France than white wine now. It's huge. We believe in absolute minimal sp spray intervention and our goal is to produce zero residue wine here, which we have achieved over a number of years now. And that is quite an achievement. And I think if um, wine drinkers ask their wine suppliers, is this zero residue or not, they would be surprised at the answer because it's not all that easy to achieve. But it's all part of the push towards sustainability. Um, we experiment with all sorts of things in the vineyard, with biological controls and um, encouraging um, insects that will feed on the bad things that we don't want. It's a wonderful time of the year. It really is because you've gone through winter and you look over the vineyard in winter time and it's just, it's, it's st structure. You just see the posts and the wires and the pruned vines and there's, no, there's seemingly no life. Of course there is life, but the vines are dormant. And then at this time of the year, you see that lime green um, start to appear and then in a matter of weeks you look over the vineyard and it's just a wash with this beautiful spring colour. Yes, it's the promise of new growth and uh, good fruit set and benign weather, <laughs> all those things that you hope for. Beautiful. Roll on summer.